Now to the deadly wildfires in the southern plains. Some of the worst damage is in the suburbs of Oklahoma City. Don Teague is in Choctaw, Oklahoma tonight. And Don, I understand you have new information about the fire investigation there. Yes, good evening, Katie. Authorities have not identified any suspects in the fire that destroyed dozens of homes here in Oklahoma County, but witnesses say they spotted several teenagers acting suspiciously in the area where the fire broke out. Just be careful. That's our wedding, China. In more than two dozen communities across Texas and Oklahoma, hundreds of residents spent today digging through what's left of their homes. For the Henry family, what's left is only memories. It's devastating to see your your home like this, but that's what it is. It's a, it's a house, and what makes a home is your is your is your family and your and your friends. The family escaped just seconds before their house was overwhelmed by a 50-foot wall of flames. It's uh, pretty much raging out of control. It's a familiar story on the Southern Plains today. That house went just whoomp, and people ran out screaming. Late Thursday and throughout last night, winds in excess of 60 miles per hour roared through fields already made tender dry by drought. Flames and ash were carried high into the sky and rained down on more fields, fueling at least 30 dangerous wildfires. It was a pretty chaotic scene, it really was. The flames forced thousands to evacuate, destroyed more than 100 homes in two states, and killed at least three people. One couple in Montague County, Texas, was trapped and died when the fire swept over their home. Another man's home was destroyed while he was attending his wife's funeral. Just lost his wife a day or two ago, and this is what happened. Today, calmer winds helped firefighters begin to contain the blazes. Good news that, for many, came too late. Y'all be careful now, because this is still warm, yeah. It may be days before we know the total number of homes destroyed in these fires. Officials are still surveying all of the damage. There were so many fires, and we're told there's another fire burning right now in Oklahoma County that has prompted a new round of evacuations. Katie? Don Teague, Don, thanks very much.